This is Mark. In this video, I will show you how to configure backend list so it can send out push notifications to Android devices. The configuration settings are available on the Manage screen uh, in the App Settings section. If you click on the Mobile tab, you will see this uh, section right here, and it includes uh, Android uh, server keys. There is a section for iOS where you can uh, add a certificate, and there is also a section for Mac OS where it you can also add a certificate. I'll be focusing on the Android in this video. So the question is where do you get that key from? The configuration comes from Firebase and uh, I do have Firebase console here in, uh, in another browser. You go to console.firebase.google.com and uh, let's add a project. And This project I will call push commander and uh, click continue. We can uh, just click through uh, the setup uh, in this account, I will use backendless. So now the project is going to be created, and then once it's there, we will switch to cloud messaging, which is where the keys are going to be at. You will be coming back to this project to download some things from Firebase to configure your, your development environment, but that will be a subject of a separate video. Uh, so now we'll just wait till uh, Google configures the project and we can start using it. Okay, the project is ready, click continue, and this is the project. So uh, to get to the keys that will need to be imported to the back list, you click on this gear icon and click on project settings. And then in here, click on the cloud messaging screen. With the information you will need to take from here is this server key. So click copy icon, so it is copied into the, into the clipboard, and uh, return to back list, and then in the mobile uh, section on uh, app settings, click add keys and paste that server key that you copied from Firebase in here. Under channels, you can select the channel, the messaging channel that uh, will be used, uh, that will be mapped to that particular key. So anytime you send a push notification to that channel, that key will be used. You can apply that key to all channels. So just click all channels or just select the channel that you want. So here uh, with this type of setup you can have multiple keys mapped to different channels. Uh, and here I'll just use default because that's uh, that's going to be simpler since any device that is registered with Backendless by default uses the default channel. So click save and the information is there. So it's very very straightforward. This, this part is very simple. Configuring your development environment uh, may take a few more steps and will take a few more steps but and and that will be a subject of a separate video in here I just wanted to focus on this uh, one but very important thing uh, if you fail to add your server key to back analyst configuration forgot forgot or if it's just not there whenever you send push notifications through back analyst back analyst will not be able to deliver that push notification to your Android devices so the key is absolutely a must-have. It, it needs to be present in order for push notifications to work. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy coding.